Fallville High School, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, FHS. I'm John. And I'm Hannah. With your morning announcements. Attention students who need to take credit recovery. Registration, money, and forms for credit recovery are due today. Please turn your money and forms into the counseling office. Juniors and sophomores, the PSAT will be held at FHS on Wednesday, October 19th. This is a great practice test for the SAT. In juniors, you could qualify for scholarship money. If you are interested in taking the PSAT, you must sign up with Mrs. Murphy in the counseling office. The cost is $17. Checks can be made to Fallerville Community Schools. Register soon because space is limited. Students leading students would like to remind you about the annual Gladiator Talent Showcase in November. This year's talent show will be held on Thursday, November 3rd. We need your talent. Auditions for the talent show will be held in Miss Pushy's room, E111, after school on October 12th, 13th, and 18th. Be sure to sign up in front of E111 for your audition time slot. Your act must be show ready. You must provide song lyrics prior to your audition. Remember, SLS supports good decisions. See Mrs. Pushy's for more information. Next week, the art department will be selling homecoming carnations at all three lunches and before and after school in the art room. Buy your special someone a homecoming flower for just $2 each. Support the arts and buy a flower. Flowers will be delivered Friday, October 7th, just in time for homecoming. Spirit Week for Homecoming starts on Monday. To earn points, each grade has been asked to donate specific items to the Family Impact Center. In addition to dressing up, Roz, Stephanie, and Avery show you what to wear and bring. Good morning, FHS. I'm Rosalind Apoka here with some homecoming announcements. Make sure to participate in all of the Spirit Days this coming week to earn points so your class can win the homecoming trophy. Points for Monday will be counted a little bit differently this year. The Family Impact Center is running low on food, so to get points for Monday, please bring in the following items for your first hour on Friday, September 30th, or Monday, October 3rd. So to get points for Monday, which is Squad Day, Seniors need to bring in to their first hour canned fruit or veggies, but no peas. Nobody takes the peas. Juniors bring in mac and cheese. Sophomores bring in box sides like rice, potatoes, noodles, stuffing, etc. Freshmen bring in toilet paper. So to get your spirit points for Monday, bring in your canned goods or your toilet paper or whatever this Friday or Monday, October 3rd. And here's the spirit days for next week. Monday is Squad Day. Tuesday is Color War Day. Seniors wear black. Juniors wear white. Sophomores wear blue. Freshmen wear orange. Teachers wear purple. This, this is war! <laughs> Wednesday is Scrabble Day. This is the day that you dress up as something from the first letter of your first name. For example, I'm Avery and I'm Alice from Alice in Wonderland. I'm Roz, and I'm dressed up as Roz from Monsters, Inc. And this, I'm Stephanie, and I'm dressed up as... <laughs> Thursday, Thursday is flannel and plaid day. day. <laughs> Friday is purple and gold day. Go Glads! Homecoming tickets are on sale at all lunches. The cost is $10 today and $20 next week. Make sure to get your guest pass for your non-FHS guests. Student council and class council members need to stop by and see Mrs. Tomasi or Mrs. Thomas with their list of chaperones for the dance. Attention students <laughs> after homecoming sale. On Wednesday, October 12th, yearbooks will be on sale for one day only for a low price of $50. This is a one-day flash sale. You can buy a yearbook on this day before or after school in Mrs. Hardenberg's room in D214 or at lunch for $50. Checks need to be made out to Fallerville Community Schools or cash is accepted. After this day, the price will rise to the normal cost of $55. Don't miss out. Attention songwriters. The Fallerville Songwriters Club is back. Are you interested in writing your own lyrics? playing your own songs, impressing your friends? If so, Fallerville Songwriters Club is for you. If you have even a basic knowledge and can play at least two chords on a chordal instrument, piano, ukulele, guitar, etc., and you want to start writing your own material, 
come see Mr. Roach in the junior high band room or shoot him an email to sign up. The club is open to those in high school and eighth grade. We will meet after school in the junior high band room on Thursdays from 2.30 to, uh, 2 to 3.30 starting October 6th. October 3rd through 7th is National School Lunch Week. Show your spirit. President John F. Kennedy created a week-long celebration of the school lunch program 54 years ago. Today's school lunches meet strict nutritional standards, including limits on calories, sodium, and unhealthy fats. More than 30 million students enjoy healthy lunches every school day. Help us celebrate by playing games all week. Monday, lunch trivia. Tuesday, spirit plate. Wednesday, what would you do for an ice cream bar? Do you have a talent? Bring it to lunch and have fun. Thursday, spirit spin. On Friday, October 7th, we will be firing up the grill to celebrate homecoming with a cookout. Tailgate lunch. Gladiator double, bacon cheeseburger, beef hot dog, or Caesar salad, fruit, vegetables, chips, milk, and cookie tailgate. Lunch will be the only thing you will be able to purchase. Attention FHS, if you have not heard, one of our seniors, Destiny Kozelman, was diagnosed with cancer the first week of school. She has been at Duke University getting the best cancer treatment possible. The senior class has been collecting donations during all three lunches. As of the student body, you have donated nickels, dimes, quarters, ones, fives, tens, and twenties. We have even had two students drop in $100 bills. You as a group of young adults have learned the value of raising money for something bigger than you. Your grand total so far is $500.55. Way to go. Each and every little bit helps. If you are interested in donating, today at lunch is your best collection. Seniors interested in helping with float building. We are meeting today after school in Mrs. Connor's class to discuss our ideas and organize supplies. Float building will take place at Aaron Vielbig's house on Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 5. See Ms. Connor for a map. If you did not get your ID, stop in the counseling office at lunch today. The Gladiator JV football team played a well-coached Williamson team last night in a hard-fought 18-7 win league win. The defense held strong all game and set up the offense late in the fourth. The Gladiators punched it in down 7-6 late in the game to take a 12-7 lead and never looked back. They are 4-2 and two in the season and play only next week at their place. The varsity volleyball lost a tough game to a great Chelsea team last night. The Glads play at Mount Morris this weekend for their tournament. The boys tennis team competed in the CAAC White Tennis Tournament at MSU indoors on Thursday. We finished in fourth place with 26 points. That was good enough to let the Glads finish the year in fourth overall. Brian Martin and Montana Gillett <laughs> each finished third and earned all-league first team. Finishing fourth, honorable mention all-league were Stephen Quigley and Tyler Bennett in the singles and the doubles team of Tyler Hike, Nate Leonard, Joey Quigley, Shaw Sova, John Gormley and Hunter Wilson, and Caden Flannery and Christian Montrose. The Fallerville freshman football team played, a, played well against Holt last night. Gladiators took the lead early with a pass from Cole Deo to Wesley Latson from the freshman had strong defense performances from Jacob Frell and Logan T. Wesley Latson caught another touchdown pass from Kyle Lutz in the fourth quarter, but the Glads fell short 24-14. The boys soccer team got a win in their final league game of the season last night, 5-0 over Ionia. Andrew Spaulding and Corey Lemieux each scored twice, and Bailey Edwards once for the Glads. Ethan Moore had two assists, and Edwards, Kyle Gross, and Austin Schultz added one each. Trevor, <laughs> Trevor Christosen had three saves, and he and the defense shot down the Bulldogs. Fallerville is 8-6-1 and one, and 3-2 and two in the season, and they head into the double CAAC Cup play Tuesday. Don't forget to dress up and bring your canned goods next week. Good luck to our varsity football team tonight. Have a great weekend, FHS.